How does a restaurant get a reputation? Before the age of social media, a restaurant's reputation was mostly all by word of mouth. As I mentioned two videos ago, there's been a lot of talk about this place on the west side of Las Vegas on Durango and Warm Springs. In fact, there's been so much talk that it's become hype. I wanted to see if the hype was real. And let me tell you, the hype is real. The owner has his origins deep in Japan with all the tradition and experience. He ventured out to Hawaii before relocating to Las Vegas. Two years ago, he established this place, Tonton Katsuya. Extremely authentic and extremely good. Everyone that's eaten here rave about this place. You have got to read the incredible reviews on Yelp. You will see what the people are saying about the authenticity and the quality of Tonton Katsuya. Even before entering the restaurant, I felt welcomed by the little stepping stones, all the intricate details in the landscape and the decor outside. Later, I discovered that all of this was done by the owner and chef, Masa Ide. Even before I entered, it was clearly evident that this was no ordinary place, a place of perfection, intricate precision. A perfectionist takes pride in his work. They will pay attention to even the smallest details. A perfectionist cannot work any less than their best. They always do their best. It's not in their nature to do a substandard job. From the looks of things, it seemed like there would be nothing here that would be less than the best. All the beautiful decor got me all excited because I knew I was about to have a great experience. The restaurant itself is not very big. It's pretty small. So you're gonna have to wait if you come during busy times. This is an interesting version of their menu designed by the owner and chef. They also have regular menus here. Their roasted green tea was extremely fragrant and delicious. If you like tea, try their roasted green tea. The presentation and ambiance for everything from their appetizers to the drinks was incredible. Everything was exquisite and perfect. Everybody gets a little bowl of sesame seeds. You're supposed to grind it and later you mix it with the sauce. This is their sesame dressing. Usually you eat it with the cabbage slaw. One of the appetizers that I had to try was their jumbo scallops. These are flown in from Massachusetts, Cape Cod. These are not small popcorn scallops. These are gigantic jumbo scallops. The little dab of sauce on top is some type of a mentaiko mayo. Even the sake glass, I've never seen anything like that. But this little dab of sauce was incredibly good and I've raved about mentaiko, how much flavor it has. But they also have different types of salts you can also use, like the Himalayan pink and the wasabi salt. And then I got the shrimp katsu set. When they say set here, it means it usually comes with rice and a bowl of miso soup and a little bit of cucumber salad. The tonkatsu here is the signature item, thick cut tonkatsu or pork cutlet. They also have vegetables onions, sweet Japanese pumpkin, tofu. These are also delightful. And their signature cabbage slaw. They have regular pork cutlets here, but the thick cut is what was attractive to me. They have the regular thick cut, and they also have the black line, which is the black hog. You may have heard of Berkshire pig or the Kurobota. The black hog is supposed to be more premium, more tender, more juicy, the premium, higher quality meat, which costs a little bit more. As far as the method of eating goes, I was lucky enough to have a thorough explanation, kind of like a guided tour. I was given a demonstration on how to mix the tonkatsu sauce. 
A little dab of hot mustard mixed into the tonkatsu sauce mix over the bed of sesame seeds adds a great flavor. They have a whole guide on the different ways you can eat the katsu here. The owner himself though was explaining to me and showing me every detail. Everything from the origin, the history, their cooking method, the ingredients. The explanation was detailed and precise. It was incredible. As I mentioned, the sesame dressing goes good with the shredded cabbage. This is a great accompaniment to the fried katsu. The rice and the miso also comes with the set. You may notice the small spoon. It's usually just for stirring as it's customary to just drink out of the bowl. But if you prefer to use a larger soup spoon, they can accommodate you as well. I was also introduced to the four seasons of sake. Did you know that there is a season in which certain foods taste better? From what I understand, sake is made mainly from winter to early spring and is consumed throughout the year. The taste of freshly made sake tastes different from one-year-old sake. The cups represent the four seasons, spring, the blue for the ocean, the summer, autumn, which is like the forest, and then winter. I really don't know anything about sake or wines for that matter, but the owner was so kind enough to explain to me the whole process and the customs. For example, during the summer, ginjo is one type of sake that people often prefer. It's a dry sake with a clear aftertaste and is known to be quite refreshing, so people prefer to drink that during the summer. These beautiful sake glasses were handcrafted from Japan. And they were presented with a holder that had an LED light underneath. This was also made by the owner and chef. This was a stunning display. I went through the four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. All at once. For experimental purposes. This was definitely an interesting new concept for me. Back to the food. The shrimp katsu was awesome. It was big and thick. It was like a jumbo prawn. The outside was crispy as can be. It was cooked perfectly. And I tried it with both the house made tartar sauce and the tonkatsu sauce mixture. For the pork cutlets, I got both the regular thick cut and the premium black line thick cut. These were extremely delightful, extremely delicious. Juicy, tender, crispy outside, and this sauce was amazing. It wasn't overly tart or tangy. It wasn't overly salty. It was a little bit light. The little dab of hot mustard gave it an incredible flavor, along with the ground sesame seeds. It was also good with the different kinds of salts that they had. But for me, the preferred sauce was the tonkatsu sauce with the sesame seeds and the hot mustard. Usually when I have expectations, I'm prone to disappointment. However, in this case, I was not disappointed at all. This was exactly what I had hoped it would be. It was perfect. It was incredible, full of flavor, juicy, tender, crispy. I was so impressed on my initial visit that I actually went back a couple days later, maybe to try some of the things I might have missed on my first visit, like their drinks. The Hokkaido Milk Tea. Oh my goodness, the flavor was incredible. Be sure to check out their drink menu if you ever come here. They also have appetizers. You may have seen the little bolo edamame that I had earlier. And this is the salmon. This is salmon belly topped with salmon eggs and yuzu sauce. The salmon belly is very fatty and it gives off a very rich taste. It's unbelievable how buttery it tastes. It's like butter. The salmon eggs are salty and briny. And this is a great contrast of flavors that makes a great mixture. Here we have the pork katsu toban. Toban actually translates into ceramic skillet. It's a shallow dish. It's known for its remarkable ability to retain the heat. It can keep your food hot for a longer period of time. It's served with sancho pepper, which has a more of a citrusy taste for a pepper. 
and also the seven spice shichimi. You might know this, people put this on top of their udon soup. The pork katsu is served in a dashi broth with the sweet onions and the egg. It's a very tasty broth with subtle flavors. This is a very familiar flavor for me and it reminds me of a lot of other great dishes in the Japanese cuisine. Now with the set you get the rice and the miso soup. The a la carte you just don't get the sides of rice and miso soup. All of the pork whether it was deep fried or in the toban was incredibly tender and juicy. All of the pork were outstanding at this restaurant. There's also a seafood katsu. This is the mixed katsu with five kinds of seafood. So if you don't feel like eating pork or chicken, you do have other options here. It comes with the tartar sauce, but you can also mix the traditional tonkatsu sauce. Let's go through each item. This is the mackerel. For those of you who like mackerel, this has a great mackerel flavor. It also has squid. The squid is firm and pretty thick. Also included is a thick piece of salmon, very thick, crispy outside, tender and rich and buttery inside. Goes great with the tonkatsu sauce. And then there's cod. Cod with the tartar sauce is the way to go for me. I think the tartar sauce reminds me of the classic British style fish and chips. There's also a giant tiger shrimp. The shrimp is very satisfying because it's a big thick piece. It's not the small kind of shrimp that gets lost in the breading, where you have more breading than shrimp. You will definitely notice the shrimp here. For dessert, I had the matcha green tea warabi mochi. The mochi is a rice cake, and it comes with a sprinkle of matcha powder, which is green tea powder. It's served with green tea ice cream or other ice cream of your choice, and it comes with a sweet red bean paste. And they even had a little more of the syrup on the side. I think it tasted like red bean, but I can't remember. But the combination was great. I love Japanese desserts. It was a perfect way to end my meal. I didn't get to try everything, but their menu is pretty diverse. They even have these pork katsu sandwiches. If you're planning to come here, be sure to check out their drink menu. Besides regular sodas, they also have the wonderful milk teas and Asian sodas and flavored drinks. And for those of you with children, they even have a children's menu. Now check out their website in my description, but keep in mind that the prices may not be updated. So you'll probably want to go off of this video as of October 2021. So that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.